This is Mike with Fancy Foam Models. Got my Easy Fly trainer plane here today, and we're going to install a wheel kit on it. The parts that come with the wheel kit are your two wheels, two plywood pieces to secure the axle to the fuselage and uh, give it support, a uh, piece of carbon rod that'll act as the axle and a short piece of fuel tubing to hold the wheels to the axle. First thing we do is take our easy fly plane and we're going to mount these wood pieces on there. Now the wood piece has a little notch in one side of it and that'll go towards the bottom of the fuselage and we want that notch to line up with the front edge of the wing so I've got the notch it can go front to back probably half inch either, either way so it's not something we really need to measure the main thing we want to do is just make sure that the notches are directly opposite of each other so when the axle is placed in there that it is uh, perpendicular to the fuselage. So I'm going to take the first plywood plate. I'm going to use my foam tack glue. I'll apply some glue to the plywood. I'm going to do a generous amount and then just use this to transfer the glue over to the foam. Press the plywood on there and then I'm just going to move it around a little bit to kind of spread the glue out. You can see on the fuselage there I've just got the plate flush with the bottom of the fuselage and then it's lined up so the notch is about even with the leading edge of the wing. I'm going to pull that off, let that glue tack up a little bit, flip it around and do the other side. Again we're just going to add a generous amount of our foam tack glue on the plywood plate, press it to the side of the fuselage and just move it around a little bit to spread the glue out. We'll go back to the first side. It doesn't take too long for this to tack up. And so I can go ahead and press this plate in place. Go back to the second side. Now right now I haven't pressed it very hard, just slightly place my axle right above it and just double check that it lines up the way I want it to and then I'm going to give a good press on that plywood plate. Now one thing I'll do sometimes uh, when working with foam tack if I want to either work a little bit faster so that uh, I can keep building or if I just want to strengthen the joint a little bit I'll take my low temperature hot glue gun and just add a little bit of hot glue I don't want to add too much weight but just add a little bit of hot glue on the parts and that'll help hold it in place and strengthen that bond a little bit all right, so our plywood plates are in place. Now I'm going to take my knife and placing it in the notches in the plywood, I'm just going to cut a little slot right down into the foam and that allows the carbon rod to sit down in the foam, like so. So now I will take a little bit of my foam tack again. I'm going to 
put some glue into the slot I just created. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of hot glue down into the slot of the plywood. And I'm going to take my carbon rod, get it nice and centered, press it into the foam and give it a twist so it kind of spreads the glue around. And then I'm going to hold that in place, at least till the hot glue sets up and then what that hot glue will hold it in place while the foam tack is setting up. So that's working well there. Next thing I'm going to do is take my little one inch piece of uh, fuel tubing and I'm just going to cut it into four pieces equal size. I like to use fuel tubing to hold the wheels on rather than doing a wheel collar. Uh, being a trainer it's going to get banged around a little bit more and the fuel tubing uh, if, the, if you hit real hard on the wheels will allow the wheels to pop off or do something other than try to break uh, the axle and uh, cause some damage to the plane. So I'm going to take my first piece of fuel tubing and slide it onto the carbon rod. I'm going to take this wheel and I'm going to slide it on and take another piece of fuel tubing, put that outside the wheel to hold it in place. Once I've got the outside piece of fuel tubing on, it's in maybe a sixteenth from the edge. I don't want the fuel tubing up tight against the wheel because I want it to be able to spin freely. And then I'll do the other side. Now the wheels come with a little bit, a hole that's a little bit undersized, so I took a 3 32nd drill bit and drilled the hole out on the wheel so that it would fit the axle. And so I have my wheels and they spin freely. And now I've got wheels mounted to the front side of my Easy Fly. Uh, trainer plane. As far as taking off, <clears throat> just point it into the wind. Um, this plane, due to the polyhedral, is not going to want a taxi crosswind, so uh, you'll want to take off pointing into the wind and land going into the wind. And it's just a matter of uh, easing up on the throttle to about half throttle. Uh, with the wheels positioned where they are, the wing has a positive incidence, so as you accelerate, uh, the plane will take off all by itself. And then with landing, we do with our normal uh, landing approach, come in, reduce the throttle to quarter throttle, maybe a little bit less so that it's uh, descending nicely and under control. And then as you get close to the ground, just a little bit of up elevator to slow the descent and land right down on the wheels. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at mike at fancyfoam.com. And if you decide to try a set of wheels, uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, they do make the plane uh, more fun to be able to take off and land without having to toss it.